after your classes are set up, the next thing you'll want to do is find existing student accounts in the Compass system and add them to your class. So click once in the student search index and then type the name of a student. In this case I have demonstration students set up as well so I'll be adding them. This is a specific demonstration student account I'm looking for. It's 01 so I'm going to hit the search icon and start my student search in the student index. And it found that particular student. At this screen you'll notice that there is an edit icon over here to edit the parameters of this particular student account. If I click on the edit button it will open up the student profile at which point I can add demographic attributes to this account if I wanted to, change typos in the names, even change the grade level. It is at this point that I could even change the password if the student forgot their password. You'll also see that if there is an active parent who would like to see how their child is doing in Compass, I can create a parent username along with passwords for the parent username as well so they can access the system and see how their child is doing. Once I see my student profile is updated with the correct information, I can click the box next to the student's first name. And then you'll see up here under Actions that I have a choice to add to class. And that's what I'm going to do. When I select Add to Class, you'll notice that my class lists are here. Without having first created my classes, obviously, I would not be able to complete this step. So it's important that you watch the previous tutorial on how to create your classes so that you are able to add students to those classes for Compass. And in this case, I'm going to add this demonstration student account to my math class. Once it's highlighted, I click Add. And the change has been made. To confirm the change, I click on the math class and I can see that this student appears. And I can see the confirmation at the top. To contrast that with classes that are empty, such as the Science fifth, uh, 5 class, when I click on it, you can see that there are no students enrolled. Or the Social Studies 5 class. This is what it looks like when no students are enrolled. So the addition of the student to my math class is complete. If I want to add multiple students, I can do that as well. In this case, I'm going to search by a username convention. And you can probably by now tell the pattern of these demonstration accounts. So I'm going to start searching by that convention demo.student. Username conventions for actual students in our system could begin with QCSD or they could begin with QC as well. So when I search by this convention you'll see I get a lot of results. Other ways to search in the student index include by first name and by last name or in this case what we're doing by username to tap the strength of that username convention. So let's say for my science class I want to add these students. As you can see at the top on the actions menu my count was increasing as I clicked the checkboxes and I'm going to add these to a class all at the same time. I'll go to select my science class and I'll hit add. When the window closes the change has been made. And you can see over here by clicking on science 5 class 
I've added those six students to the Science 5 class. Another way to add students to a class is by dragging and dropping their accounts into that class. And that can be done by typing in the same username convention. and selecting multiple checkboxes as well. In this particular case, I'm going to be selecting 2, 3, 7, 8, and 10 for my, science, uh, my social studies class. When I mouse over the set of gray dots, you can see the shape of my mouse changes to a hand. That means it's ready for me to grab and drag and drop. So I'm going to choose a set of dots next to one of my checkboxes, and then all five boxes and student accounts will come at the same time. And you can see, just to confirm while I'm in the middle of my drag here, it says five students are selected, the five that I clicked, and you can also see the Social Studies 5 class is highlighted. With the five students selected, dragged over the Social Studies 5 class with the blue highlight. That's confirming that the system knows I want to drop these kids into that class. So I'm going to release my mouse button. To confirm this, I'm going to click on the Social Studies 5 class. And you can see, let me hide this pane here. You can see that the five students have been enrolled into this class with the drag and drop procedure. So enrolling students one at a time by searching the index for a specific student account. Enrolling multiple students using the actions and add to class menu. Or enrolling multiple students with a drag and drop all accomplishes the same thing. Finding students that are already created in Compass and moving those already created accounts into one of your class accounts.